hi friends in this video I'm going to explain the difference between SBS modified waterproofing membrane and liquid type waterproofing more than that I will suggest when it is best to use the membrane over the other and vice versa by the way I want to give a shout out to the structural world he is the one who requested this video thank you the structural world going back to our topic the materials we mentioned earlier are important to discuss because of their popularity they are a significant part in almost all types of building projects furthermore they are mainly used to avoid water leakage especially on the foundation balcony roof and weight areas and the building these two materials each have their own characteristics and advantages for the different areas where they are used but before we move on if you're new to my channel please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that every time i post a new video you'll get notified all right now let's dive in I'm gonna present uh, tables so that it will be easy to understand. So in this table you have area or location or characteristics and you have here SB is modified waterproofing membrane and the last table would be liquid waterproofing membrane. All right. So you have difference in material. 5 mm or 6 mm SBS or styrene butadine styrene modified membrane. SBS is one of the families of synthetic rubber. It was discovered that by properly modifying asphalt or bitumen with SBS, they could create a highly durable elastomeric mix with a very excellent elongation and elastic properties. More than that, the mix would also have an excellent abrasion resistance. While liquid waterproofing membrane, black liquid applied with waterproofing membrane, high polymer emulsion, when cured, it can form a top flexible and elastomeric membrane gives better moisture protection and comes with the ease of application rough foundation mostly used for the foundation of high-rise buildings its dip is 16 meters to 50 meters from the ground but this factor can vary depending on the type and height of the structure use sbs modified waterproofing membrane for the rough foundation area the waterproofing membrane is advisable because it can withstand high water pressure. The rough foundation commonly has a depth of 16 meters from the ground to 50 meters. This means that the uplift pressure is extreme. Therefore, the material of the SBS modified waterproofing membrane is advisable. Do not use liquid waterproofing membrane. This material cannot retain its shape after being pressed and stretched by the heavy load of rough foundation or rough concrete. On mat foundation is the foundation used in shallow foundations such as low-rise buildings, mall, supermarkets, etc. Use SBS modified waterproofing membrane on this area. Although the mat foundation isn't as deep as the rough, the SBS modified waterproofing membrane is still advisable, especially for projects near the seashore. Just like our project, the square, the mat foundation lies at 5 meters below ground with a water level 2 meters below ground. Do not use liquid waterproofing. The liquid applied cannot withstand long periods under high pressure. On isolated footing. Isolated footing is used in the foundation of factory buildings, warehouses, residential houses, etc. 
use uh, SBS modified waterproofing on this area this is used when the footing is below the water table the water will surely percolate the footing if there is no SBS modified membrane applied to it water in grease would be avoided you can also use liquid waterproofing if the footing is above the water table then apply this material even if there is no applied pressure you can still use this for its practicality with areas such as kitchen bathrooms comfort rooms or toilet do not use sbs modified membrane sbs modified membrane is not necessary in these areas this is because there is not much pressure and the toppings above it are screed in tiles. Use liquid type waterproofing membrane on this area. It is advisable to use this material because it is less thick. It is 1 mm to 3 mm. It will affect the elevation or level of the FFL if you have a thicker waterproofing material. This is one of the reasons why I don't advise SBS modified membrane. On balcony and terrace. Balcony and terrace of a hotel or high-rise residential building use SBS modified waterproofing membrane on this area. SBS modified membrane can be used in these areas. Just make sure that the design of balcony can accommodate a thickness of 5 or 6 mm of the SBS membrane. You can also use liquid type waterproofing membrane. This material can be used if you want to avoid complicated installation processes because you won't need a primer. In other cases, you'll need to dry out the primer before you can apply the actual waterproofing material. Roof. Roof of a high-rise building or low-rise building rough deck upper roof use sbs modified waterproofing membrane on this area because of the wide area of the roof and the presence of heavy map installations it is advisable to use sbs modified membrane on the roof do not use liquid type waterproofing roof is an open place and when a heavy downpour comes this material might not withstand prolonged rainfall. On swimming pool, swimming pool on a high-rise building, a roof deck, or even at ground floor. Use SBS modified waterproofing membrane. It is advisable to use SBS modified membrane in this area. Swimming pools contain heavy weight of water above the waterproofing. Use liquid type waterproofing on this area. Use this material on the fourth layer. Remember, fourth layer. This waterproofing will protect the third layer gunite because within gunite there is reinforcement. Right. On attic slab, attic slab is made above substation of a high rise building and electrical rooms. Use SBS modified waterproofing membrane on this area. The underside of the attic slab is a critical area which contains the substations and a generator. In order to prevent water from falling on the high voltage electrical power, an SBS modified waterproofing membrane is required to be placed on this area. Do not use liquid type waterproofing in this area. It will possibly leak even though it is still a membrane. It is not like SBS modified. On external wall behind cladding. This is behind cladding which may be a glass cladding, GRC cladding or granite cladding to protect the wall from water ingress. Waterproofing is required on this area. Do not use uh, SBS modified waterproofing on this area due to the criticality of the application involved with the external walls of a high-rise building. The SBS modified membrane is not advisable. It is 
practical to use over external areas with a height of 50 meters or above. Use liquid type waterproofing membrane on this area. It is very practical to use liquid waterproofing on this area because it can be applied with brass or roller. Alright, that's it. I hope you've learned a lot with our video today. If you have something in mind that you would like me to explain and discuss, please write it down in the comment section and I'll surely create a video for you. Again, shout out to the Structural World. Thank you for your request. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will get notified every time I post a new informative video like this. There are two other interesting videos appearing on your screen. You might want to check them, so please click the video now. Thanks a lot guys.